Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing some tips if you're going to go get your driver's license or your passport. I know that the pictures on those two IDs are going to be very important because more than likely those two IDs are the ones that you're going to show to everyone, whether you go get a job, uh, if you use your debit card, credit card, whatever. Uh, your driver's license and your passport are the pictures that are going to be seen the most. I personally had really bad, ex bad experiences with my school IDs and any other picture that I ever got taken so I wanted to make sure that for my driver's license I took a decent picture because I knew that that was the ID that I was going to show the most in my entire life so I wanted to look uh, as best as possible so today I'm going to be sharing some tips in general uh, for taking your driver's license uh, picture and your passport because there is kind of a difference in some requirements uh, to it and just since this is a makeup channel I do want to share some makeup tips and you know how you can do your makeup for those pictures and yeah so let's get started and I hope it's helpful we are going to start with the makeup for the driver's license, passport, or any other ID. And first of all, we're going to cover any discoloration, any dark circles. Uh, we're going to accentuate some things a little bit more because I know that if you had a blemish for a week, I know you don't want it to stay in a picture for years to come. So we're going to cover all of that up and just get our uh, faces to look as flawless as possible since it is going to last for a couple of years and people are going to be looking at that picture and we don't want them to see a blemish that only lasted for about a week. So I'm going to start with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to apply this on to on all over my face to cover the discoloration around my mouth, any blemishes or just any perfection in general. Once I'm done covering all of the blemishes in my face, I'm going to go back with the L'Oreal Magic Foundation, which is really light, which is perfect, so my face won't look really cakey since the Maybelline concealer is pretty uh, full coverage. Uh, this one is just going to help me to get my face into one color since the concealer is not like my perfect match or anything. So I'm just going to go back with the foundation and just make sure that my face looks of one color. More than likely I look very ghostly to you right now because I haven't covered my dark circles and because my face is a lot lighter than my neck and my chest and I have done this on purpose. The first time that I went to get my permit I got the paper copy and then I got the hard copy on the mail and I realized that the hard copy got darker, more yellowish and um, with a greenish tone and I really did not like how it looked because that wasn't like my skin color and it was just more, I don't know, the hue was really not pretty and I, I don't know, it's just I didn't like, like it. So the second time that I went to get my driver's test, uh, you take a picture again. So you take two pictures, first with your permit and the second one with your actual driver's test. So with that one, I went like this with my face a lot lighter and I will put some powder that's going to match my face uh, later on. But uh, I made sure that it's a lot lighter than my skin tone so that when I got the hard copy of the um, driver's license, it would actually be a little bit closer to what my skin color is and just so it won't be so yellowish and, I don't know, um, greenish looking. So I'm going to show you um, both of my pictures with the paper copy and the hard copy so you can kind of see the difference of how the color will change. And I'm not going to show you my entire face, but um, I'm just going to show you a little bit so you can see like the difference of the two. So here it goes. And that's how it looks. The one over here is the paper copy. As you can see, it looks lighter and a little bit more true to color. And then this one right here is the hard copy. As you can see, it got a little bit more yellow. Uh... I don't know if you can tell, but it got a little bit um, with a green tone at the same time because of the card, the color of the card. So as you can see, the color of the two pictures are very, very different. And that's what I wanted to avoid, sort of. 
the picture that I just show you is my actual driver's license now. Uh, the first two that I took were my permit and they take those away and those look really really bad. I wish I would have taken like a picture or made a video before I returned them but uh, you will be able to see the difference of how my face looks uh, in the picture of my permit and the one of the one that I have right now for my actual driver's license. It is a major difference so it really helped me to just take my foundation a few shades lighter just so that when the hard copy came the color looked as you know a little bit closer to how I really look so that's just a tip that um, you may want to look into so my advice to you is to take uh, any family members uh, driver's license or if you have a friend look at their license just to make sure that in your state the the hue uh, changes as well like mine I personally live in Georgia so just make sure and just to be on the safe side if you do need to take your foundation a little bit lighter or if yours is fine with your um, original foundation color. So right now we're just going to continue with the rest of the makeup. Fix that and we're going to cover the dark circles because you do not want to look tired. So right now I'm going to use a concealer under my eye circles and I'm actually going to use a foundation. This is the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth Foundation which I'm going to use as, as a concealer because it is full coverage. So I'm just going to cover my dark circles with that. And of course I'm going to set it with a powder so that it doesn't increase and it stays in place until I take my picture. And there it goes. Uh, as you can see my dark circles are mostly covered. And now we're going to go into the eye makeup. I personally advise you to go with something that you're very comfortable with. Something that you're not going to regret over the months, over the years. For me, I personally like a natural look, so I'm just going to choose a color that I know that I always love, I always, like, I never regret wearing this color, and that is gold. So I'm just going to apply a gold eyeshadow all over my lids. I'm going back with a brown eyeshadow. It can be matte or shimmery, just as long as it's not super metallic. It actually really doesn't matter, as long as it looks really pretty. Uh, and we're just going to take this brown and just create a B-shape. On the outside of my eyes so I can bring back some definition into them so I will look really plain and you can just if you don't like this one you can uh, search on YouTube just everyday looks or natural looks and stuff like that and you will find tons of them so you don't really have to use mine I just pretty much the purpose of this video is just to give you the tips on like the driver's license and just little things that I learned when I got mine Define my eye a little bit and just blend that with the gold. Like so. And then I'm going to take that on my bottom lash line. Because my eyes do get lost whenever I take pictures. So I kind of have to define just the outside part. I don't... I advise you not to line your entire eye because that will make it look a little bit smaller. And if you wake up early that day to go to... um take your test and everything you might feel very tired and just uh, lining your entire eye may just kind of make your eyes look a little bit droopy so you might not want to do that unless you get lots of compliments that you look really good with um, black eyeliner or just with your line eyes lined entirely then you you know go ahead and do that if you feel comfortable if you look great in it I personally do not look good uh, with my eyes lined completely. Just gonna highlight my brow bone. And also blend uh, the brown that I just placed on my crease so that it doesn't look harsh or anything like that. Right now I so my lashes won't get lost. I'm gonna land line just my top lash line as close to my lash line as possible so that it doesn't look like I have eyeliner on so they can look at like it's actually my lashes the darkness of my lashes so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that uh, by the way I used the Milani liquid eye eyeliner in black this one is really good it really stays it doesn't smudge or anything like that so I really recommend this one and it's really soft so what I'm gonna do next is curl my lashes and apply some mascara and that's how my eye looks. Can you tell the difference between these two?
That's the major change that mascara and eyeliner can do for your eyes. So once we have the eyes done, that's pretty much everything that I'm going to do. The next thing are lips. I'm basically going to go with something that I'm comfortable with, comfortable with like I said. Um, and for me, it's just a basic uh, nudish pinkish lip. So I'm going to be using the Max Factor Vivid Impact Lip Liner in 160 Vegas Baby which is like a nudish brown color so I'm just gonna put that on my lips I am gonna put the NYC Appalachians Glossy Lip Balm which has a pink uh, tint to it and I don't want this to look just kind of brownish or nude so I'm gonna put this uh, lip balm so that my lips stay moisturized and also give it a little more of a pink tone and of course, we cannot forget about the eyebrows. Those will frame our face. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit with a Coastal Sense eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to start lining them. And there you have it. The brows, the eyes, the lips are done. I am going to add some blush just because I helped me just, I don't know, to kind of give a little bit more life to my face. So I am going to use some blush. I'm going to go with a brownish neutral color so that it doesn't look very colorful on my face. Let's get that. Yep. Now if you want something for the hair, I advise you to go with whatever is uh, your natural texture uh, but a little bit more put together or uh, whatever you're more comfortable with. And remember that if you're gonna go for your driver's license and you're under 21, your picture will be a lot closer. So will mainly be this part. If you're 21 and over then it's gonna be a, just a little bit of your shoulders and your neck it's not going to show a lot so you don't have to do like a huge thing with your hair um, just with, go with whatever's comfortable you're going to be probably there be there for hours um, you're probably going to wake up in the morning you're not going to have time to do a lot of to, a lot to your hair so the only difference that I did was to put a side part that is pretty much the only difference or the only special thing that I did to my hair just because I liked the way I look with a side part. That's all I did for my hair. Um, okay, some more tips. On your driver's license, you can have your hair in the front covering your ears the way I have it right now. As long as you can see your face, like, you know, both of your eyes, your nose, and your lips and all of that, that is fine. But for your passport, you have to have your ears showing like this. So what I did for my passport, I did a side part. Then I grabbed my hair in a pretty little um, half ponytail. Yeah, half ponytail. And then I tied that. Of course, more I took a little bit more time with it so that it would be nice and everything. So pretty much I just did a side part pull it back and then so my face wouldn't be so plain I took the rest of my hair to the front so that it could kind of frame my face I don't know if this looks good so this is what I did for my passport I just had my long hair in the front and then my side part and my ears uncovered your ears have to be uncovered for your passport but for your driver's license you don't have to so you can have your ears closed and everything. Okay my beautiful, so that was it. If you have any other questions about your permit, driver's license, passport, any other ID, just leave them down below. I will be very very happy to answer your questions and to help you a little bit more and pretty much that was it. The main thing here is for you to go uh, to get that driver's license and that passport looking very, I don't know, just be very comfortable with the way you go. Uh, don't try to go over the top. Don't try to, I don't know, just whatever you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with a neutral eye, neutral lips, just uh, emphasizing my lashes because I want my eyes to like pop. And um, I love a side part. That's comfortable for me. So I hope that the other tips that I gave you about what to expect uh, from the pictures and stuff like that, I hope they were helpful. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that was it. I... I really hope that I helped you and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I have tons of new subscribers 
thank you so much for supporting my channel for subscribing to me that really means the world to me thank you so so much and i will see you in my next video